Mimi Kids. The Enchanted Rose, a world of fairies and dreams. In a land where small magical beings flew among colorful flowers, there was a special place called the Rose World. Here, everything shone with colors that were even brighter than a rainbow. These tiny beings had delicate wings in shades of pink, gold, and blue, and they danced around, making sounds like bells ringing. At the center of Rose World, there was a very large rose called the Grand Rose. Its petals were so big that they could cover entire families of these little beings. The colors of this rose changed all the time, like a chameleon, depending on how the sunlight touched it. It smelled so sweet that it could make even the most restless spirits fall asleep. In this magical world, every day was an adventure. The little beings would go on journeys to find special petals. Some of these petals could make wishes come true, while others could make dreams real. They would laugh and fly around, making soft sounds with their wings as they touched the petals. Beyond the rose fields, there were meadows called the Rainbow Glades. Here, the grass had every color you could think of. The little beings loved to play here and made beautiful patterns as they flew around. When it rained, rainbows appeared in the sky, and the little beings would slide down these colorful arches, laughing as they went, and the rain made a soft sound. But the most magical part of Rose World was the dreamland. At night, when the sky was dark, the little beings would gather near a shiny pond. They would touch the water with their fingers and create dreams. These dreams were very vivid and lovely. They would send these dreams to the human world, and it was as if a bit of their magic went with them, making people's sleep more enchanting. One day, a curious little being named Lily decided to go outside of Rose World. She wanted to see the human world and share her magic there. She was brave and went on a journey through forests, over mountains, and across big oceans. Lily's journey was tough, but she didn't lose hope. She met humans who were amazed by her shiny wings and the stories of Rose World. She saw colors she had never seen before, and the sunsets were so beautiful that they seemed like real-life paintings. But deep down, she missed the grand rose and the laughter of her little being friends. Finally, Lily came back to Rose World. Her wings were tired, but her spirit was full of stories from her travels. She told her stories to the other little beings, and they listened in wonder, imagining all the new things she had seen. From that day on, they understood that while adventures were exciting, there was truly no place like home. So, in the heart of Rose World, among the laughter of little beings and the colorful petals, the magic of dreams, rainbows, and the grand rose continued to create a story of enchantment that would last forever. Hey kids, here is the vocabulary, nouns and adverbs from this story. You can practice new stories using these words giving enchantment to your imaginative world. If you enjoyed the video and learned something new today, then share it with your family and friends. Mimi Kids, thanks for watching. Hope you like our video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe our YouTube channel. And also don't forget to hit on our notification button.